That's a memorial to the people that died in the war there. It could have been an old gate leading up to the church, I'm not sure. We've got the cemetery here. I don't know what the name of the church is. I've got to look around this churchyard actually because um, I've got a feeling that Barbara has got people, hell people and related families in this graveyard presuming that everything is connected up. I'll come around and have a look in a minute. I don't want to spend video just using up doing the image of the grave. Not on its own, I'll do the church as well. <coughs> oh, coming up to it now, like I said, I doubt it'll be open. They're never ever open. It's because of thieves. I'm having a quick look as I go along just in case something comes to light. But I know that there will be some. I'm sure there's some buried here. Look. Get away. Oh, bloody bees. They're mason bees. They live in the ground, they don't like you fiddling. Very hickledy pickledy there, aren't they? Very uneven. I don't know why they just don't come out. Like, rather than destroy them, come and flatten it all and put them all in again. Like, level the ground up. that make more sense if you ask me. Right, Barbara, if you're listening, this is the church at Whirl. Oh, I've just come across the chaplain. Here we go. It, loving memory of our dear parents, William and Ellen Chaplin, called home April the 24th, 1950, age 86. March the 8th, 1948, age 83. Now, this could be connected to the Denmeads here, because there's also the Denmeads um, of Kingston Seymour that had people from around this side. Right, I think I'll, there is a, st a stroll up there, but then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up the steps first. I'm frightened my battery running out mainly. You often wonder if it was a bigger graveyard once. You do wonder, I do. Right, I'm going up the steps, heavy breathing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called yet. St Martin's Parish Church of um, Whirl. You know, it, if they haven't got them front doors open, you know, the old always means that you can't get in. Nearly always. 
I'll just try it just uh, just in case now trying to get into these churches you have to go actually go to church on a Sunday to be able to get in them well anyway got a little spire spires aren't that common in um, Somerset they got that great big one it's uh, Bridgewater, St Mary's, that's probably the, one of the tallest spires I've ever seen, I think. Here we've got a memorial to the Bisdy, Sylvester Bisdy, who died in 1835, aged 54. Also, Anne, his wife, who died November the 24th, 1847, aged 53 also Elizabeth Ann Biz D that's spelled B I S D double E daughter of the above who died October the 12th 1840 could be six age 30 years it must have been some sort of disease and they died very close to all the flies on there as well no loads of flies on this grave you got James Partridge Capel or Capel as well, and Sylvester Bisdall, who died in their infancy. I just I'm doing a picture of this because it does stick out, doesn't it? This monument, it's a big monument, isn't it? Well, there's the Church of St Martin's. It's very fly around here. Eh? You couldn't eat your sandwiches in here. Oh, I've never come across so many flies in my life. Here we've got an old church, uh, an old church cross, I should say. For freedom, 1914 to 1918, 1939 to 1945. Their name liveth forevermore. And sometimes these monuments are actually ancient crosses. Right, I'm gonna go get up here. That were once on the site of older churches and that sort of thing. Now I've got to write this down. Actually, Barbara, I've come across a stall. These aren't easy to find the stalls, so this is quite a find, Barbara. I'll take a picture as well in a minute. Henry Stoll fell asleep. I can't read that in. Uh, oh God, it looks like I can't read that. But anyway, November 19th, 1898, aged 68 years with Christ, which is there, something or there. Also, Elizabeth, wife of the above, who died March the 20th, 1907, aged 79. Stowell. And also, um, Harry, son of the above, who died 1946, he's 74, so we've got Stowell. And there's Elizabeth Stowell that I was telling Barbara about, who is the mother of Alice Hale. This was um, the first wife of her father, Elizabeth Stowell. But I've got this can't be her, this isn't her, but I'm just saying this family, Henry Stoll could be connected to her because Elizabeth Stoll herself is actually buried in um, Milton Road Cemetery and I've got a record of that. I've got that record. In fact, there's more Stolls here. This is good, isn't it? In loving memory of Maria Stoll, who fell asleep the 3rd of October 1954, age 81. See, I can look these up. I can look these up when I um, get home to see if they were brothers or sisters. Something like that. Yeah, take a good video of these. Definitely a connection there with the ones in Milton Road. That's interesting. What's this one? Might be one as well. Oh, no.
Yeah, it's lovely that, isn't it? That come out well on the food telly. So if I can find any more. Which other chairs as well. Lovely setting. Surrounded by the bleeding hills there and then you've got the mend ups over there. Really pretty. Pity the church in Oakton though, isn't it? That's really interesting. I'm just gonna turn off, take a picture of those graves a minute. 